Hello, guys. Let's come in. Welcome to the studio at the 8th district of Budapest. Uh, it used to be a, a flat and I turned it into a studio. There was a two-room apartment and I just made some reconstructions. So that's my studio right now. This is the right space because uh, I have this uh, uh, big table and it's uh, usually on the on the floor so I need seven meters to push through the table uh, to the blade and the high ceiling is because I I uh, do big artworks, big paintings. Uh, it's a self-invented paint scraper. It's a combination of a press and a, and, a, and a blade, and it scrapes off the paint of the canvas. And uh, it creates this very flat print-like or screen-like uh, uh, effect on the on the on the canvas so it's it's very thin and uh, it's a squeegee painting but what I do is that I, I I make a composition I paint it very thick and then the paint builds up on the side of the blade and it creates this ghost-like image this wavy uh, effect on the on the painting what you can see is a distortion of the original There is a plotter machine and it cuts out all the shapes of this vinyl folie. So I use this, uh, this for masking. That's how I can uh, you know, place the right shape at the right place. Um, and then I take off the mask and uh, fill up all the other parts with oil paint. So I usually mix uh, the paint on this uh, glass palette and I, I mix a lot of paint and, uh, and, uh, and then the last part is the, is the scraping. But it takes, um, depends on the size, but several hours to paint the, the original image. And the last method, the scraping, it's, it's very fast. It's like less than a minute or something. But it's uh, a bit more about the catharsis, you know. I work very thickly and, and uh, a bit like a machine on the original image but then the blade just uh, creates a totally new situation on the canvas. So uh, there is this double side of this process, but I really enjoy it because I don't know the results. It's always a surprise. Show you something because when when the when the paint builds up on the on the blade, like I said, then uh, it creates this uh, thing that I call uh, paint sausage. <laughs> but it's it contains the original image. It's like a reduction of the of the of the painting, and I just save this on this wooden stick. But I found it's very interesting, and it's uh, you know it just it reels. And that's how this wavy effect appears on the on the canvas. But it's it's on the blade usually. All right. I was a little bit disappointed because there was not enough paint to to make this. Uh, ghost-like image so it was very dry and uh, and it just actually disappeared at the bottom of the painting but after a few days uh, I found it very interesting and, and, and different than the other paintings so so the um, that plays a, a, a big role you know the coincidence and uh, uh, sometimes I make less paint or or it's actually the same process but but it depends on several things. I mean, the, the main result depends on several things. Even temperature plays a role and, uh, and uh, it's never the same.
I don't have a, a very long story about the, the painting, but, uh, but there is something interesting happens all the, all the time. Or you can have your own fantasy about it. And of course, colors are also very important to me. I have a, that's interesting, I have a, um, these color, color bars. You know, I mix colors just to find the right shade. So you can see that the, the blue is very interesting because there are so many shades of the blue. And like I said, I have a, a digital image and I am looking for, let's say, this kind of uh, blue. So that uh, helps me a lot to find the right color because I can't uh, keep everything in my mind. So I just find the right uh, shade and the right um, um, product, right brand. You know, these old uh, VHS cassettes or Yeah, here you can see. So I, I cut out uh, the things I like, you know, usually small, the right color, interesting shapes. I have a lot of uh, cutouts. And then I create the composition. And I made a show, uh, I was beginning of this year. I only showed uh, paper collages. And it was a very fun process, a new, new thing for me. And um, I, used to, I used to paint uh, uh, unfolded wrappers before. I can probably uh, show you in the book. Uh, so that was 2015 when I made these kind of paintings. As you can see, these are unfolded uh, packaging. So that was the, the subject matter. Uh, but what I did right now is to use the real material. And, and, uh, and uh, that was a totally different way of uh, composition. interesting when you when you see it the first time it's it's surprised me and then I need I think one or two weeks to to really judge the image and my experience is is that in yeah in, in one week I, I usually know and I can usually accept and like the, the image mm -hmm. 